Japanese. And, and he looked victory. fresh, Bizek. He looked as if he was. He could do it another. Yeah, because it was only a uh, first period of bout. It was sure. not, not only not even two minutes. So you don't get paid for overtime in this business, but Bizek will be delighted with the brilliant bronze medal. We're on to the second bronze medal now. The 75 kilogram contest, Elvin Brusaliev from Azerbaijan. His opponent. Georgia, Zurab, Datanashvili, oh, oh, a nice big mat. Yep. <laughs> black, black and blue. He's in the blue singlet, but he's got the black eye. Oh, we can see okay out of that one. Looks pretty swollen. He had probably a, a strong uh, bout before. Now he's uh, watching the stigma of, uh, of the battles uh, on the elimination uh, rounds. But now we are in the final of repechage and uh, for the, the, the second bronze medal. So the Georgian in blue. And that's a good one, Daniel. There must be a criteria for the referees to check that and make sure that he's still got enough vision. And will he have the vision to get the bronze? But you can see why that they would pick up bumps and bruises because it's such a quick sport, all the upper body. The head's bound to come into contact with each other, unintentional. But still painful, but Dutanishvili looks not to be too encumbered by that big black eye that he's got. But Marsaliev not interested in that. Yaziri. Dutanishvili yeah. finished second at the European Championship in 2013. It was the seven in the Olympics in London. He's certainly got the pedigree, he's got the experience, but will he be handing a bronze medal to his collection? They're both so, looking at the referee here. <laughs> he's showing the referee that no action, but no action from him either. From him either. Or from the referee. He decides to let them get on with it, keep the wrestling going. Yeah, he's, he's controlling the shoulder, uh, on a, a, a control on the shoulder. And that's allowed? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's part of the great war. So why were they looking at the referee? What were they...? Uh, he said, oh, you know, I, I'm engaging and uh, he's not reacting. <laughs> but, you know... He's if not you, obliged to. You, you, you engage your control. If you do nothing after that, you know, it means nothing. Sure. If you do just a control to show that you have a control on one arm, that does, doesn't show nothing, you know. You should show something. Uh, a control should be a kind of setup for something following it. But was nothing following the, the action of the Georgian. So, but we don't saw that much activity from from uh, the Aziri. Now, uh, heart, uh, head head snap uh, to to put him out of balance. The referee give a caution to the blue because I agree with him. I agree with him because the the red wrestler show more uh, aggressiveness and get more the the bout. So Marsaliev has the advantage, the man from Azerbaijan. Can he get hold of the belt of Dutanashvili? As we call the partner position or the referee's position. And from that, the wrestler on top should uh, try to uh, expose the shoulders on his Can't opponent with that, with that lift. Uh, he sacrificed himself almost there. The referee say out. No, and give one point for... Uh, well, he's looking for confirmation he say, here. He say, he say, you know, that uh, the wrestlers from from uh, Aziri, Azeri, Azerbaijan controlled the legs when he was doing this, uh, ah. this show. He was too low on the control. He was not controlling the waist. The waist, he was grabbing yes. the legs. So yes. Marsaliev had the position to get the big throw but couldn't convert it. He used a lot of energy in that effort there. Marsaliev highly experienced himself. He won the Golden Grand Prix in Baku this year. So he's in good form coming into this World Championships. And uh, Datun really was, uh, I remember, we remind you that was a silver medalist at the European Championship and seven at the Olympics in London. Let's see if it makes, if it makes good, good uh, finalists uh, for this uh, uh, Greco Roman uh, bronze medal at these World Championships. And I think his eyes holding up okay. I was a little bit concerned about Datanishvili when he came in, sporting the big black eye. But Mursaliev from Azerbaijan looking pretty calm, pretty cool. He had a big chance there, Daniel, but as you said, 
didn't grab the waist. He, he, he strayed downstairs and, and grabbed the legs for the throw. This one. You see, watch, watch the control of the arm. And by the way, you know, he go really, he used his legs though to turn over the opponent or so. You uh -huh. see, watch the, the, the left leg. Got it. Uh, he, and he goes out uh, anyway, but it was uh, un, uh, it was unregular uh, uh, action in in Greco, of course. An illegal move. He ha was in position, but who will be on the podium at the end of this one? Dutanashvili just getting his eye checked there by the referee as he comes in. Thankfully, it's holding up well. One more match for him. The adrenaline will see him through, but can he see through? The attack of Moussa Aliyev, there's a frantic opening here. The referee just warning the use of the head there. Yeah, yeah. From Dutanashvili, the Georgian in blue. It's the Aziri in red, Moussa Aliyev. But you can see the, uh, the Georgian is attacking a little bit the head down. So I'm not surprised that he got the yeah. black eye, you know, because he's always the head down. And you see the body pushing the opponent always, so it's not surprising to see this uh, this blue eye. Sure. Well, if you now lead with your head, you're going to get in trouble. You can see he's in the same position, and the he's doing nothing. The coach said, come on. Yeah, change it, do something. Yeah. But, you know, he's doing nothing. He's just waiting for a... Uh, and there's a question for Musha Mursaliyev. No. And now Mursaliyev goes to the mat for the party of position. Dantanashvili just trying to get his breath back here. Let's see if he's tried to attempt the same thing, the gut wrench, or not. Didn't wait for the referee's whistle there, I don't think. The, he didn't whistle, so he asked... Uh, it, that was a false start, I will say. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the referee is... Uh, he's well, he's warning Mursaliyev. He's here. warning, yes, yes. A little bit unfair, I thought. He didn't have the whistle in his mouth at the start of the action. And the referee asked... Uh, has he got the belt hold here? The Azeri to raise his chest, but the, yeah, he raises his stairs, you can see. It's strange from Datanashvili, he turns it over. No, he turns it over. That was only one point, he get out to Couldn't the Couldn't expose the back. But they give one point because they stand up and uh, he fall down on the mat, so they give... Uh, it's a lot of work for one point, but Datanashvili takes the only score so far. And this bronze medal contest, Murashvili now from Azerbaijan is obliged to try and do something. It's a rough, tough business, the Greco. All upper body gripping and strength. It's not been a gripping contest so far. It's been a real stalemate. One one to obligate the other one to step out of the limit of the edge of the, the mat. It doesn't work, but the referee is still impatient. Yeah, so tell the coach to sit down. He said uh, to the yes. So you see, it was closed. It's out now. Head, head drag. Moshaev trying to drag the neck. Georgian trying to escape from the attack. And now probably countering and with the head, the head again, you know, always, always the head on the chest. So it's a way to put the distance between his upper body and the upper body of his opponent. So don't, but no, the Azeri looks a uh, good uh, control under the arms of the Georgian. Omurashvili well, getting worn there. He knows himself that he's got 45 seconds left to produce something here to get the bronze, but good speed and evasion there. Datanashvili providing a really small target, getting out of the way. And with 30 seconds left in this contest now, they're, they're, the bronze is at stake. You know, they're, they're both, both uh, almost the same style and the... It's, they neglect the, the, the racing, so it's... Now it's a tie. Yep, a passivity point added. And indeed parterre time for Datanashvili. And the Georgian is uh, no, it's not. losing because he's uh, two cautions. Well, the coach is less than happy. The referee indicated parterre and then kept going. 
So Datanishvili and Mursaliev both looking imploringly at the match chairman. Yes, indeed, it should have been. He asked uh, to Mursaliev if you want to stand up or a parterre position. Well, the referee offered them the, the parterre position. But there's a challenge now. And then there was confusion. It is. So it's been turned back. It should have been parterre, we believe. Both wrestlers certainly thought so. The referee just in danger of stand up. Well, he did signal to them to go to parterre, so he caused their own confusion there. But Datanishvili is down now. The last score was for Mursaliev. 10 seconds now to decide the destiny of the bronze medal. Datanishvili was leading. Can he hang on? Mursaliev on the verge of victory. And it is the Aziri in the end. And the Georgian had two caution, by the way, so we're not... Uh, he's unhappy, of course. Of course, but the happier of the two, Elvin Mursaliev from Azerbaijan. It says 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard, but the man that won is the man in red. Elvin Mursaliev takes the bronze. Plenty of confusion at the end there. But a clear result. You, you see the spectacular throws from uh, Mursaliev, but uh, as we say, you know, use the legs too much and use the control on the legs to turn uh, his opponent up. So, doesn't work. For the rules. An attempt from the Georgian here. Turn around, uh, he, but he missed the control on the chest, so he just got one point for this action. Well, Dutanishvili came in with a black eye, but Mursaliev left with the bronze medal.